Here's a quick and dirty little Diepenhag video about a tool that I just built. This is a hydraulic uh, valve spring checker and I built a little uh, anvil for it that hooks up into the drill press to uh, raise it and lower it. But what, it, what was interesting was um, making this little checker piece. Uh, this has got different dimensions on it. Uh, each side is a different length and each side corresponds to the uh, specs for an R2 valve spring. So this is all for the VL220 R2 valve uh, spring setups on it. So, so if you look at it, it says 2.031 and when you look at 2.031 that's the installed height of a R2 valve on a Studebaker and it should be 90 pounds and then when you look at the next longest length it's 1.750 and that's a 281 valve lift it should be about 135 pounds. Uh, next one is 1.630 that's at a 401 valve lift that should be 160 pounds and then 1.495 is coil bind so that, that's all great for the R2 but then I made one more and this one is 1.671 and according to the Stude service manual the valve spring should be between 105 and 115 so just to show you how this works here's a brand new uh, R2 valve spring you just put it in here put it in the middle and you'll grab this tool and on this length we should be we should be 90 foot pounds so I try to do this keep my fingers out of the way so you can see it and you look down you can see right where it's at so that's right in the spec then the next spec would be one and three quarter or you know 1.750 and it should be about 135 pounds so you just bring it down till it contacts it and then you can read it and you can see where it's at uh, so that works out real well uh, it's great for the R2 so there's good for the R2 my problem is I have a, a gabazillion uh, over here you can see I got a whole bunch of takeout springs uh, so I'm going to take the assumption that they're all just a stock spring and they all should be if I'm using this spec for 1.671 according to the service manual I should be between 105 and 115 so now this is just a nice nice go thing so here I'm touching it and I'm right on the butt this is a good spring it's right at uh, right at 115 so that's good so that one goes in the keeper box and we go to the next one stick this in here and I'm a little light on that one not bad though I kind of put that in the maybe box and I just keep looking at this until I see see some of these are a little bit light when I say that I'm being fussy but I'm gonna try and be fussy and segregate them so that's how that works I just thought I'd a quick and dirty just show you how it works cute little gizmo I got some work to do talk to you later have a good one bye